Well, greetings, viewers and voyeurs. Normally, when I do video responses to people, I try to stay away from vitriol or ad hominem attacks, but I might let you guys down on that regard a little bit in this video. I hope this video doesn't tarnish your image of me or cause me to lose any of your respect, but I don't really care in a sense because I'm going to say what I got to say in the language that it needs to be said in. I'm responding to this guy called Check'em, 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 who I'm going to refer to from now on as Check'em three times. He made a video uh, yesterday or the day before, I guess it was Saturday, uh, um, something like uh, pro-gay straight people are full of it or something like that. I can't remember the exact title. I'm not going to bother looking it up. But I know, Mr. Check'em three times, that you're too much of a chicken shit to approve this video as a video response. I know you're too much of a fucking pussy to actually engage in a conversation via video cunt. In his video, uh, to keep you guys up to speed, if you haven't already seen it, I'll obviously link his video below, but if you haven't already seen his video via Bionic Dance or Dynamite Ruby, basically this guy is chastising pro-gay straight people uh, on several counts. Number one, he challenges us to allow our children to be friends with little gay boys or little gay girls and spend the night with their gay friends. Ooh. Well, you cunt. Check him three times. What the fuck is your problem? I happen to want to know what the fucking prize of this challenge is. Because I think you owe me a fucking award. Because I am a heterosexual man who has raised two beautiful heterosexual children. I've got a daughter. I've got a son. They're both grown up now. And ever since they were little... They've had no problem with gay people, and that has a lot to do with the way that I raised them. You see, before they were even old enough to go to school, I told them that even though you don't see it very often, sometimes women love women and men love men, and that there's nothing wrong with that. So that when they ever saw it in the world, they wouldn't think that there was anything wrong with it. They would just think, oh, that's what he was talking about, and then get on with the rest of their day. It's pretty much how it's turned out, you know. I also warned them several times before they were old enough to go to school that when they were in school, sometimes children uh, try to dominate other children, and one of the ways other children do that is by trying to bully you with language, and they will use words that they think are going to hurt your feelings, might call you fat or might call you gay or something like that. And I said, listen, kids. There's absolutely nothing wrong with being gay. So if someone calls you gay, if someone goes, oh, you're so gay, don't be offended by it because A, there's nothing wrong with being gay, and B, more to the point, they're only saying that in an effort to hurt your feelings. So if you don't let it hurt your feelings, they are wasting their breath and making themselves look stupid. And you know what, Mr. Checkham, three times, it fucking works. My children are brilliant, they are beautiful, and they are both not homophobes like your sorry ass. I would much rather have let my kids spend the night with their gay friends, which I have done, than let my kids spend the night with children of parents like you. You seem to want to brainwash your kids into bigotry. You seem to think bigotry is the natural default. What a fucking jackass you are, man. It pains me to think that I have to share this fucking world with you. <sighs> In your video, you seem to suggest quite strongly that by letting my children hang out with their gay friends that they're going to turn gay. Well, in the interest of full disclosure, both my kids have had their bisexual experimental phase as they were going through adolescence. I don't personally think there's anything wrong with that. I don't personally think it makes them gay. I don't personally think it's um, unusual. And I think it is healthy that they didn't have to feel guilty about going through that phase. And look, they've come out the other side, and they are heterosexual. Shocking, I know. Gay friends, bisexual experiences, and still turned out heterosexual? Amazing! Or not. Actually, I think it's quite normal. I think you, motherfucker, are the abnormal one, you fucking maggot! You need to pull your fucking head out of your ass and get a goddamn education. You think that pro-gay straight people are secretly gay? Jesus Christ, how fucking ignorant can you possibly be? I'm a pro-gay straight guy, okay? I have never had the slightest amount of curiosity about homosexual behavior. 
And since I've got so many gay friends and in a number in the dozens, I could easily have experimented with that side of sexuality if I had any curiosity, but I don't. I'm quite secure in my heterosexual identity, quite secure in it. I have gay friends who flirt with me sometimes, and sometimes I will flirt back with them. Not to lead them on, but just to tease them, because they know I'm not gay. I'm unavailable. And in the same way that when I'm in a marriage, I sometimes flirt with women, I flirt with them to tease them, not to lead them on, just because they know I'm unavailable and it's badinage, you know? It's a friendly way to deal with people and there's nothing wrong with it. But, you know, that doesn't make me gay. I have never had secret fantasies about being with guys. Never. So, you know, you are completely wrong, man. And I'm pro-gay in the same way that I'm pro-black or pro Islam, even though I'm a fucking atheist. I'm pro-Islam in the sense that I'm against arbitrary discrimination against Muslims because of their beliefs. I'm against discrimination against anyone because of their beliefs. I'm against discrimination against people because of their ethnicity. And I am just as equally against discrimination against anybody because of their sexuality. And if you're not, why the fuck not? What is so wrong with being gay, you fucking jackass? What do you feel so threatened by? What do gays have to do? What are they going to do to the world that you're so fucking scared of? Doesn't it suggest to you that you think a little bit of exposure to gayness means that someone's going to turn gay? Doesn't that suggest that being gay is fucking amazing? It's like irresistible? Therefore, you'll forgive me if I think that people who, like you, bleat against being gay as if it's the worst possible thing in the world may have latent homosexual tendencies because you seem to think that a little bit of exposure will turn you gay. Well, I'm a heterosexual guy who's had plenty of exposure to gay people and hasn't turned gay. So I know that's bullshit. And the fact that you don't think it's bullshit makes me wonder if you would turn gay. Sorry.